What's up? This is Demrick. It's Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's OB Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking records. Breaking records radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. I recently watched a documentary called Adult Rappers. They asked a very interesting question that I, I... I think I saw some of that online. Yeah, he was on there, attorney. Oh, talking there, about... Uh, uh, slugs on there. Talking about being a, a rapper and as earning an, a living an independent. Adult, yeah, yeah. So uh, they asked, um, and I, I'm curious on a lot of... I, I wanted to see that. I didn't get the chance to see that. Yeah, well, uh, they asked, what do you tell people that you do for a living? Do you tell them outright you're a rapper? I mean, yeah, that's what I do. Because almost three quarters of the people on there denied it. Really? Yeah. yeah I, I, know. <laughs> I know I'm shocked by it too. I'm like, and I think the youngest one there was 37, and then it's like Slug's 45. Slug denies. How can he deny he's a rapper? That's what most, I mean. Most of them were saying when they had talked to like an average, uh, like an average person. Oh, they probably the just don't even talk about it. Like music because they don't want to elaborate on it, and people yeah, so, don't I mean, understand. Sometimes it I may yet. not. I, mean, I don't know. I don't really. Yeah, if somebody asks me, I just tell them I'm a musician. Yeah. Right. But you know P.O.S. was saying if he's dressed like how he was in the interview then But it's because hip-hop is such a deep-rooted culture and the people who really are in it, that are in it You can't explain that shit to people who don't get it, you know what I mean? Like either you're in it, people get fucking it like, know. I mean, hip-hop is the, the biggest musical genre in the world right now I mean, it's pop music now But it's definitely looked at as like actually think Cookie still though. sells more records though Probably, I mean, but I'll hip -hop to be now. honest, okay. country sounds like hip hop now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Hip hop right. has the they most got electronic cool. sounds yeah. in there. They got the drum. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit sounds like hip hop to me. And well, so does pop. I think I think a lot of people don't say it outright because they think that it's viewed from other people as like an immature genre, which is almost true because there's not people old enough to be. Oh, it's only 50 it's years changed. old, right? Rock it's and changed. roll was a youthful game when. Uh, you know, classic rock wasn't around when rock first came out. Changed. So. I just feel people on the outside don't understand rap because it's like they just look at it from the face value, and you see artists like I don't even name people, but you know what I mean. It gives I off mean, this flashy people, image, and then when you're a normal person who does actual real hip hop, how do you explain that to somebody who doesn't even understand? You know what well, I mean? Well, people, um, like you said, a comparison to rock and roll. Um, being a hip hop is the younger of the genres. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, people don't. People don't understand hip hop other than what's the mainstream or what's proper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they just feel like, oh, that's hip hop. You know what I mean? But they don't understand that. But that's becoming, that's changing. You don't see too this many is, conscious rappers on the radio, at least in the last 10 years. Now you're starting to see well, a lot more. Well, just even just adult, like you said, adult rappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's completely changing now because, you know, you have quote unquote mature, you know what I mean? Contemporary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is contemporary music now, yeah. where it was just like the the the, the new young stuff. But yeah. now you have guys that are you know what I mean, grown men with kids, with grandkids that are still making relevant hip hop. You know yeah. what I mean? And still doing very well. I mean, Tech Nine is you know what I'm saying is could be considered an OG in the game, but oh, yeah. he's oh, yeah. one of the most successful. OG and one of the most prominent and successful. And still at making the his and he's making his biggest albums and making his yep. most impact. Biggest moves now. So it, you know it's just it's changing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's evolving. It's not what it used to be. The perception isn't exactly what it used to be, and it's changing. People have to change. So another one is, uh, which artist did you inspire to be when you started out? Was um, there one artist specifically? First, yeah, Nas was probably like my first. Surprisingly, on that documentary, a lot of them said too short. Wow, yeah. I mean, because I, probably that was their mind, their They like the that. nastiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Too short, <laughs> yo. Yo, he's like, he's one of those dudes that's a lot of your favorite rappers' favorite rappers. For sure, I just wouldn't see it coming there. Yeah. I just, just didn't see it out of most. Yeah, I mean, I could say it was Jay Zoller. Sure, you know what I mean? That's my hometown. Yeah, yeah Too Short definitely, but uh, you know, had an influence because mm -hmm. that was like you know, Too Short was the shit. You know, yeah. what I mean? yeah. you know, growing up in ba in the Bay Area. But to me, it's like when I heard Nas, like I was like, yo, yeah. I want I want to try that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I had never heard. I mean, I heard other stuff. Like I loved. You know, like my brothers, they had like EPMD tapes, and and, and I love like Ice Cube and NWA. And I, I love listening to that music, but it wasn't hurt until I heard Nas, um, Illmatic. It was when I was like, "Yo, I want to try. I want to try to do that. Like that's incredible." You yeah, know what I mean, like, I'm sure. Anyone cool. that you didn't want to end up like, <laughs> I have to ask this because they had a unanimous answer on that on the doc. I don't know. I didn't really. I don't really think about that. I don't know. <laughs> The unanimous answer was Vanilla Ice on the. the oh yeah, it wasn't a shock. Vanilla Ice was when I was a kid. I didn't even consider that like. Rap. I just considered that just. There. Something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just. I mean, I kind of like Ice Ice Baby when it came out, but I didn't, I, I didn't consider that. You know. Yeah, exactly. I considered that just you know something different. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't even put that in the same mind frame as. Like Ice Cube. 
Yeah. Or Nas. Yeah. Like, yeah. That wasn't. That goes in the ski low category. <laughs> 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 Breaking fucking records radio.